Welcome to September's Leco Challenge. This problem is called Shortest Path in a Grid with Obstacles Elimination. You are given an m times n integer matrix where each cell is either 0, empty, or 1 obstacle. You can move up, down, left, or right from and to an empty cell in one step. Return the minimum number of steps to walk from the upper left corner to the right lowest corner given that you can eliminate at most k obstacles. So whenever we see a 1, we will have to remove it, but we can only remove k number of times. So here, the shortest path is just going to be going either down to right or right down, removing this one obstacle on the way. So uh, already we can kind of tell we want to use a breadth first search, and they tell you that right in the hints right here. But we want to use a breadth first search with one extra parameter, r, which is the number of remaining number of obstacles that you can remove. So that's going to be big. We have to keep track of how many obstacles we can re remove have left. And that way, if we find that we have none left, then we're not going to continue our breadth first search. But one other thing that is going to be a little tricky here is we also need to keep track of what we've already visited, right? Normally you have some sort of visited set to keep track of the cells that you've already visited. But here, say that we travel down one path and run out of obstacles, you can easily imagine some other situation where we're going to come back to that same cell in order to find the shortest path in some other different path, right? But we've already visited that cell. But we haven't visited that cell with that many moves left. So what we're going to do is have some sort of visited set that not only keeps track of the xy coordinate, but also how many k's do you have left. And that way, it doesn't matter, you know, how we got there, it only matters that the first time we sit, hit there, how many moves do we have left, and if we come back here and have more moves left, that would still be the shortest path, right? All right, so let's begin. Let's first initialize our M and N to be the length of grid and length of grid zero. Now we're gonna have a Q, and in this Q, what do we wanna have? Well, we wanna have the X, Y coordinates, right? We also want to have how many k's we have remaining, so x, y, as well as <clears throat> obstacles, I guess, as well as how many moves have we taken so far, because we still need to keep track of that, right? Yeah, so we'll have k here, and we'll have 0, which is the number of steps we've taken, so we'll call that steps. Right, so while we have a q, let's first pop off here. How will I do this? I think x, y is fine as well as the number of obstacles we have left, how many do we have left, and we'll call it steps. So here we'll say pop left. So a couple conditions, first things first, if, let's see, if we find that x, y, and number of steps, or number of obstacles left is in our visited set, so we'll call it scene, then we actually can't continue here, right? So uh, we'll just continue. We also need to make sure that we have steps left, or not steps left, we have obstacle numbers left. So we can also say, let's see if it's in scene, or left is less than zero. That means we should just continue here. Okay. Uh, we should also have our, have our base case to say if, let's see, x, y is equal to m minus n or m minus 1 and n minus 1, then we've hit the right corner. So we just return the number of steps right here. And finally, let's go all four directions. Oh, actually, first we should um, add to our set, so we'll call it scene, add x, y, left, and we're going to say, let's call it dx, dy, in, okay, well, we'll have the four directions that we can travel, let's see, so 1 to 0, negative 1 to 0, 0, 1, and 0 and negative 1. So as long as these the new coordinates that we calculate, so we'll call it new x, 
and new y. As long as this is in bounds, we're going to add to our breadth for search, right? So let's see x plus dx and y plus dy. If new, oh, let's do like this, 0 equals new x is less than m and so here and equal new y is less than n we're going to append to our q let's see the new x the new y oh i suppose we need to if if this coordinate is if it's an obstacle we need to subtract one from from the number number of obstacles we have left right so okay let's see if uh, do I do that up here or what? Let me think. I guess we can just do it up here. If grid x y is equal to one, then we're going to subtract from left minus equal one like this. And that should be fine. Left and number of steps plus one. All right, so if we're able to come out of this loop, though, if we never return the number of steps, the first time that we hit our right right bottom corner, that should be the shortest path. But if we can't get there, well, then we just return negative 1. All right, so let's see if this works. Okay, that looks like it's working, so let's go ahead and submit that. And great, so time complexity-wise... Oh gosh, what is the time complexity? Um, <laughs> uh, time complexity, since we have our scene set, uh, I guess it's going to be n times m times k. And space complexity, same thing because of our set here. So yeah, I think it's n times m times k. And that's it. Now there are a couple of variations to this, but this is the one that I found most understandable. Yeah, so hopefully this helps and appreciate it. Yeah, so thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.